Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be bringing you a very quick on-haul video. So I am just about to nip to the charity shop, not only to drop off some books but to drop off some clothes and I thought before I went I would show you the books that I'm getting rid of because I know that I love an on-haul video possibly even more than I enjoy a haul video. And I know so many of you are interested in what's coming off my bookshelves just as much as what's going on to them. There are various reasons why I'm getting rid of these books, so let's just jump straight into it. So I'm going to be getting rid of Hour of the Bees by Lindsay Agar. This is a children's book that I believe is about Alzheimer's. It's about a young girl whose father is dealing with dementia. There's no sort of particular reason why I want to get rid of this book. I haven't read it yet, but I just... Whenever I look at it, I don't feel a huge compulsion to read it. This next one I'm really on the fence about getting rid of. So this is Bunny by Mona Awad. And this, I think, is like a campus novel that is about kind of the toxicity of female friendship and cult. As this is a proof copy, I'm not going to be taking it to the charity shop. So I do have a couple of days to contemplate what I'm going to do with this. It may end up just being recycled. If you didn't know, you can't sell on proof copies or donate them to charity shops. I've got a whole video about that, which I will link in the cards and down below if you're interested. But yeah, not sure about this one. I could be convinced to pick it up, especially because we're getting into spooky season and I do think it's quite a scary book, but I'm not sure. How Do We Know We're Doing It Right by Pandora Sykes. This is a collection of essays from Pandora, who is someone I've been a fan of for a while. I really enjoyed the High Low podcast, but I didn't find this collection of essays quite as impactful as I was expecting, and I don't feel a huge attachment to keep it on my shelves. But equally, I think if someone else picked it up, they would get a lot more value from it. So it's good to send it back into the world. Kind of in a similar vein with You Are Dope by Ovi Soko. I read this in my recent reading vlog, which was a Love Island themed reading vlog. I will also leave that linked in the cards and down below. I thought this was a like decent read but I'm definitely not the target demographic for it so again sending it back into circulation. I feel quite conflicted about getting rid of these next two as well so I'm getting rid of Deep Light and Fly by Night both by Frances Harding. They are absolutely beautiful books and I just don't feel a huge compulsion to pick them up at the moment. They've both been on my shelves for several years now and I just feel they deserve to be appreciated by someone. That Reminds Me by Derek Awusu. This is another one that I read recently um, and I enjoyed it but I don't think it's something that I'm necessarily gonna revisit anytime and I think another reader would get so much value out of this. I'm gonna be getting rid of this picture book Robin Robin which is a tie-in with the Netflix film. Very cute Christmassy picture book story but not something that I'm gonna revisit. I'm unhauling Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I am gonna be getting another edition of this book very soon so I'm I don't have a particular need to have multiple editions of this and I know someone else is gonna absolutely love reading this, is gonna be so stoked to find it. Arthurian inspired black girl magic fantasy novel, like someone is gonna be so excited to find this. Big Girl Small Town by Michelle Geller. I read this for the most recent Irish Readathon and while I did enjoy it, it's not gonna be something that I think I revisit, it's not something that I felt necessarily defines me as a reader and when I'm thinking about whether I want to keep books or not, that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Rainbow Rainbow by Lydia Conklin. This is a collection of short stories that has representation from across the queer spectrum. Really great collection, would highly recommend it. I just don't often revisit short stories. So that is why I'm unhauling it. And finally, I Love This Game by Patrice Evra. I spoke about this in my most recent reading wrap up. This is Patrice Evra's autobiography, most well known for being a left back for Manchester United, which is the football club that I support. And I definitely do feel like this book plays a role in defining me as a reader. You know, it's one of my other key interests other than reading is football, particularly Manchester United. I do just plan on replacing this with the paperback when it comes out. So that is it. Very quick video from me today, but I wanted to keep you in the loop with what is coming off my shelves. To be quite honest, I do just need to kind of keep unhauling stuff. I do need to be a little bit stricter with myself with what I keep on my shelves because these shelves are approaching maximum capacity. I could double stack them, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> so yeah, I do need to be quite strict with myself. How do you approach unhauling books? Are you someone that does it quite regularly or are you someone that likes to keep absolutely everything that you read? I would love to know. If you don't have anything in particular to say, but you want to let me know that you're here, leave me your favorite animal emoji to say hi. I hope you guys are doing well and I will speak to you in my next video.